In today's video, we find out what happens when the brand new boss gunner meets boss foundation IO versus the seven for the first ever time on YouTube. This is going to be super hype. If you guys remember, these did meet back in season eight during the final event for chapter two. Would someone see what that is? Uh oh. So we can see during the season 8 event, it didn't end well for Gunner at all. And I thought, I wonder if he could get revenge on Foundation. So jumping straight on in, we had to locate the location of Gunner, which we knew was inside of the brand new cavern. And we had to get Gunner outside of his cavern on the way, all the way over to the Sanctuary, where the location of the Foundation is based. So how are we going to get Gunner out of here to Sanctuary? That's what we've got to work out as a team and work this one out. So we land in with Mystique. And I don't know why I always use Mystique in these boss meets. I just like using her. She's just like a classic. And we had to locate Gunner. And no, guys, that's not the Gunner, which was the item shot battling which got added in and then removed and refunded to everyone it was not that gunner it's actually the new npc gunner gunner we've got to get you over towards foundation to see if you can get revenge so he's in here we located him and then i decided you know we have to get him through this giant pipe to get him outside and we just baited him through he just kind of followed us he was really just a bit of a bot he was with his io friend who which we took out because we didn't want to bring his io friend over we just want to take gunner over because it's not going to be possible to take the io guard over sadly but gunner for some reason he just likes to follow us also guys, roughly 98% of you guys watching right now aren't subscribed, so tap that subscribe button. It'd mean the world to me if you get over 400,000 subscribers, and this video took so much time to put together. I've been grinding this since the update came out, so make sure you guys do tap that subscribe to show love and support to the channel, and tap a like button if you haven't already. It means the world. And eventually, Gunner did escape the location. We had Gunner on the mountain cliff moving along around the actual cavern itself. It's a huge structure inside the mountain, so we had to get him moving nicely. And we did. He was moving pretty well. We managed to get him around the front of the cavern now. The side we needed him on towards tilted that direction. And we decided to start moving Gunner just across the field over here. And eventually he would follow us slowly. He would kind of boost towards us and kind of just stand there for a bit. And then boost towards us and stand there. And he just kind of repeat that over and over. It was quite difficult to do, but eventually once you got the hang of it, it was pretty easy and Gunnar was moving quite well and quite good actually he did hit himself a few times with the grenade but luckily we now have like these slurp barrels which you can throw down which heal them and you've also got chug splashes as well so we were able to heal him as he damaged himself and you'll see us do that right at the end as well as we get to that but yeah we got him pretty far we managed to get him to coney crossroads and at this point i decided you know what we'll just kind of chill with him watch it in a little bit of first person random new item on the road i've no idea why that's there but it is <laughs> and we got rid of that and we had to be careful with this car here we didn't want him to kind of blow up the car because that would have probably damaged him a lot so we kind of moved him away there nicely he's still coming towards us slowly he's moving quite well gun is actually progressing quite easily and one thing that was really important for me was just to make sure i'm always like watching this and staying in the fights that's why i'm here just getting the minis and stuff so i don't die it's really crucial to make sure my team are doing a good job here which they were they were doing really good so shout out to the team that jumped in on this one it was super awesome you can see gunner as well boosting in through there again almost there now we're coming in along the beach side over here gunner's following us slowly he takes a little bit of time he doesn't really hit because like i said most npcs when you stand still they don't actually hit you and that was a little bit of an animation glitch there but he's moving a little bit closer and finally eventually we got gunner to the location of foundation it was now time to get him in one little bit closer and then heal him up so we're going to throw a bunch of these barrels down on him nicely done they're going to heal him up easily so you can see his health is healing up there to full and eventually gunner will be on full hp once he's using them and why that was going on i decided to switch over to the replay and we can show you guys the full overview of what was going on with foundation so we got foundation down here you can see he's walking down here on the front it was almost perfect timing to be honest really lucky foundation is just chilling over there gonna boost in he gets all of his hp back using the barrels because he did stand on the barrels for quite a while as well so he actually gets bonus hp as well and then he decides to target foundation there he gets one shot on foundation but he's still target on us at the minute until foundation hits him so there foundation turns and gets a bunch of damage on him but luckily gunner is still getting some health here so he's actually got a little bit of an advantage at the start he's healing up to full hp right here and foundation versus gunner is about to take place the foundation can Engages there with a few shots, misses a few shots on Gunner. Gunner does go in with his SMG. You gotta remember, Gunner's got that new mythic SMG and the foundation has got the mythic AR, the MK. So it's interesting to see which one's gonna be the better one between these two foundation using 
his rock ability there, dealing 90 damage. Much more powerful than Gunner's speed dash, which definitely isn't as powerful as the foundation, but it's a unique ability. Gunner again going for them. He throws, he was going to throw a grenade there, but he didn't throw that grenade. He needs to throw these grenades because they deal 100 damage. Then grenades are going to give him the advantage in this battle. Foundation switches to the rock. He throws in the rock right here. Misses Gunner. Gunner actually gets a few shots on Foundation. They're hitting one bullet in total. Missing a few shots. So the NPCs aren't got the best accuracy when they're battling each other. You see a nice little 20 there. Lovely grenade coming in from Gunner. Another 22, another 22, 22, and another 100 there coming in with the grenade. Definitely doing better than Foundation right now. Gunner has the upper hand. He's using the cliff to his advantage. This could be perfect for Gunner. Gunner's definitely thrown it a bit bad there. A little bit of a miss there with that grenade, but that's okay. Another bunch of 20 there coming in from Gunner. Only a 25 on him that he goes in for the... Ooh! He does his first dash. He hits Foundation with the dash, dealing a 30 damage. But this could be a disadvantage. He puts him in close. Foundation counters that with or responds with one of his rocks there. Getting a lovely hit on Gunner there with a giant rock. Again, 90 damage. Gunner goes for a bunch of 22s there. Charges in again with another 36. Straight on Foundation. Foundation hitting a few AR shots, but Gunner's still doing more suppression damage against the Foundation here. Getting a lot of hits on the rock itself. Comes out and misses that time. Foundation does miss the rock. You can see Gunner actually hitting a few bullets there. Actually goes into the charge as well. Gets a nice little 30 on, but Foundation did get a few shots off there on that charge. A bunch of kind of trades here going on. So equal, equal fight right now. Foundation is definitely turning it around a little bit here. Gunner with another big burst there though. Big rock coming in and Gunner hitting him for 90 again. That is a huge hit for Gunner. Goes in for the big slide. Oh, he misses his slide there on Foundation. Foundation got a little bit of an advantage here now. He missed his slide. He's got a nice little close combat kind of battle going on here, which is going to give the advantage here to Foundation. Foundation goes over his big rock, aims for Gunner right here, misses the Gunner. So that gives him a little bit of an advantage. Gunner actually moves back towards the mountain. There's a bit extra shot damage there on Foundation. Foundation getting nice and 25. The shield has been cracked off Gunner. This is not looking good for Gunner. Foundation's still got his full shield. Goes for another grenade, misses the Foundation. So Gunner no longer has his shield, but Foundation does. Foundation has still got a shield. Oh, is that going to avoid it? Oh, he counters Foundation there. Stops him to do Oh, no. He pulls it straight out. Pulls out straight on the rock there. Hits Gunner with another 90. This gives Gunner more of a disadvantage because he's now on his actual HP and not his shield, which is interesting because I feel like Gunner's hit Foundation more. Let me know in the comments if anyone's counted. If you have, that'd be absolutely awesome. I'll definitely be heart in your comments. Who's actually hit each other more? Let me know in the comments. But Gunner is definitely doing really well for his performance, but Foundation still has his shield going in front of a rock, bro. And I feel like the damage of them rocks is just too much, but he does miss it again. So Gunner's actually managed to dodge a few of the Foundation's rocks, which is interesting, and getting a lot of 22. I feel like the 22 damage is just not enough compared to the MK, and he does miss a few of them, which gives him a little bit of a disadvantage. But he takes a while to recover from it, and he's looking around a little bit confused here. Goes for a grenade throw, misses the grenade throw, takes a bunch of damage there. Still not crap foundation shield or shit. Another rock comes in nicely here. He's just gonna hit on Gunner. It does get a nice hit on Gunner for 90, dealing a bunch of damage to Gunner. Gunner has just cracked foundation shield there. You can see it go to the white HP there. So he is white, but it is not enough to actually finish him off. Gunner does go for a huge dashing. He's still got a lot of damage to deal on foundation, and foundation gets the finish right there on Gunner just like that. GG Foundation. If you guys want to get involved in the war between IO and the 7 right now, I've constructed a perfect creative map for you. This is IO versus the 7. You can pop in using the code on screen and you can check the trailer out right here. It's super awesome. You don't want to miss it, guys. Get involved with the IO versus the 7 and become your true agent.